Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is I'm critiquing Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz did an uh, episode recently on uh, outrageous things that restaurants do to make you sick. And since I'm a restaurateur, I thought I had to co uh, comment on this. Um, so this is the uh, second uh, video that I've made on this subject because he had a lot of really good things on there uh, on the Dr. Oz show on this. He had a health inspector on. And of course, health inspectors go into restaurants to help restaurants and make sure that they're doing things properly and safely so they don't get consumers sick. But a lot of people do get sick at restaurants. And it's a shame because uh, stuff that happens in restaurants is just atrocious and I've seen it. It's, it's really disgusting. So one of the things they talked about was scrombroid, which is caused in fish. It's a bacteria in certain fish that because the fish is out of temperature. It's not properly stored at the proper temperature. And it was really great because they, they did tuna. And tuna is one of those fish, tuna and mackerel especially. Tuna is one of those fish that if it's not at the proper temperature for the whole time, you can get sick from this. And a lot of restaurants serve tuna rare, medium rare, because that's the best way to eat tuna, right? However, depending upon where it's caught and how long it was caught, and that transport time makes a big difference on your tuna. Now here's what I like about, especially the tuna that we serve, but here's what I like. We buy frozen tuna. High quality frozen fish is amazing. The technology in freezing fish these days has gone a long way from throwing fish into a freezer or taking fish at home and throwing it into a freezer. What they do with fish now, and I've personally spoken to uh, Paul Hill, the guy who's the president of the Albacore Association on the Pacific Northwest um, out, of, out of the United States. They catch our tuna. The, these albacore tunas, these 25 pound albacore tunas, they line catch them, pole catch them, one hook, one line. As soon as they catch them, these fish are getting frozen within two hours of catching them, which means the temperature is getting stabilized right then and there. And of course, now they get, they get packaged and they get shipped to their final destination. So when we receive the fish, it's still frozen from within the two hours of them catching the fish. So there's been no opportunity for fish to sit somewhere, sit out, sit in a cooler, not get properly iced down. Um, so when we thaw the fish, the fish is fresher than fresh. It's super fresh. So our tuna, which is our number one selling dish in our restaurant, has been for 10 years, is probably some of the safest tuna you could possibly buy. Now when they freeze these fish, they freeze them cryogenically at like negative 80 in these blast freezers. And they, right on the boat they do this, right when they catch them, they get frozen right on the boat. So what happens is that type of freezing holds the quality of the fish, of the flesh up. The molecules don't split and it doesn't get all, all watery and dried out which happens with a lot of people associate frozen fish with that. You throw a piece of fish in the freezer, it freezes over many, many, many hours, and that's what ruptures and damages the cells on the molecular of the cells of the fish. But when you do it blast like that, a blast freezer, a quick chill, a quick freezing process, that doesn't happen. So the fish, you can't tell that it's ever been frozen, because we all know what bad frozen fish, uh, the texture of it is like. It's just, it's not good, you can tell. Well, by blast freezing it, you avoid all of that. So that's the good thing. So when you eat tuna out, you typically don't want um, tuna that, that, that's, that's been sitting in a warehouse for seven, 10 days, two weeks, um, and sitting in the back of a, re in the, in a restaurant cooler for so long. Re to be able to properly store any kind of fish, it has to be iced down every night and drained. A lot of restaurants don't take the time to actually ice the fish down. They just stick it in the cooler. And uh, sometimes they keep it on ice in an ice bin on top of the line, um, you know, for service. So it sits out for a couple hours, and then it goes back into the cooler at night. What they didn't sell, and then it comes back out the next day, and and it's, it's not a good situation. So don't be afraid of high quality frozen fish. And uh, another thing they said there, you know, if you want to eat high quality fish, go to a place that serves a lot of fish, to a fish house, to a fish restaurant that's known for fish. Um, you want to make sure the higher the volume, the more they're going to be using it and the fresher the product they're going to have, which makes total sense. So another really good point Dr. Oz makes, uh, the outrageous things that restaurants do to make you sick sometimes is intentional, sometimes it's unintentional, sometimes they just really don't understand what's going on in the restaurant because it's maybe out of their control or just because something they've always done and haven't been taught the proper way. So uh, yeah, be careful when you go out to eat. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. 
Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please hit like, um, subscribe to my channel, and pass it on. Thanks for watching.